Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. And I wanted to reach some of you who haven't subscribed to the channel to please do so by clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. And today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be continuing the videos on ARKit, specifically version 3 where they introduce body tracking technology. So I'm going to be doing an example in Unity and I'm also going to be recording myself moving around so that you can see how the skeleton changes as I move around. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing to create a, a tracking of our body. So the first thing that I want you to do is basically create a new scene. We did the face tracking mesh last time, so I'm going to be creating a new one this time. And to do that, we're gonna go into create and then scene. This one is gonna be body tracking so let's double click on it and then we're going to start with a very basic scene so i'm going to delete the camera because we're going to need the xr camera instead so i'm going to hit delete and then right after that we're going to right click on the hierarchy xr and then we're going to create our ar session just like we did last time and then the next thing we're going to do we're going to do the same thing but this time we're going to create an ar session origin excellent and we should have our camera now so what we're also going to need is to start tracking the body. So to do that, I could either put it on the AR camera or we could create a game object. So I'm going to follow Unity's example. So if I go back into Unity, they actually added it to the AR camera. So they added a, a screen space join visualizer to the camera. And then also on the AR session origin, they added an AR human body manager. So let's actually follow that same pattern. So I'm going to click on the AR session origin. And then here we're going to look for body tracking and it's going to give us the AR human body manager. Click on it. And then everything else should be the same. We're going to be basically disabling this, the human body pose estimation enable, actually enabling that. And then the next thing that we need to do, we need to go into our camera and then enable the, this is basically a line render that is gonna show your, basically around your body. So you're gonna see a skeleton. So Unity added a join line render to do that. So if we go into that, you'll see that it has basically, it's a basic game object and then a line render associated with it. So I just wanna make sure that we have the same parameters. So I'm gonna go into our folder, which is called prefabs. And this one it's gonna be called, let's create a new material and this is going to be for the line render material. So line render. And let's go ahead and drop that into materials. Okay. And then this could be any color that we want. I'm going to pick the same thing that they did. So they use the green. So I'm going to use the green and it's a sprite material. So we're going to go into sprites here. If I can find them. Oh, here we go. And then default. And we can just pick, you know, a green color. Maybe like a little darker green to match what they had. There we go. And that should give us that. And now what we can do is create a new game object. So what I'm going to do that in the hierarchy. We're going to create a, game, a lim, uh, empty one. And this one we can call it line render as well. Then this one is going to have also a line render. And I think everything here is basically the default that they chose, which is 0, 0, view, stretch, 0 0.5. And I think everything else is just receive shadows. So I don't have any shadows, so we can turn that off. And use world space. I think we're good to go. Yep, we're good to go. And then let's just assign that material that we created to this game object. There we go. And I'm going to make this one a little bit darker. There we go, so that we can see it really well, even in even when we we have a lighting, a lighting scene, a lighter scene. There we go. Okay, so that should be that. And then I think everything here is good. So I'm going to just drag it and drop it to create a prefab. We can remove it from the hierarchy. And, and now what I'm going to do is just go into our camera or AR camera. And I'm going to search for visualization or visualizer. And I think this should give us the other script that we need, which I don't see it. So let me see which one is the one that they use. 
So they have a screen space joint visualizer, which it might be custom to this scene, and it is custom to this scene. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna reveal in Finder, and then we'll just copy it. So just copy it, and let's paste it. We could pull our project, and then other scripts, drag it and drop it. So what I'm doing now should give you enough insight of what you need to do to set it up from scratch. So there we go. And, and in fact, I think what I'm gonna do, let me just make this smaller so I can see the name. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a game, a new game object of that type, basically named that way. And, and this is easier for us to see what's going on. So we can say that this is, let's just call it a join visualizer. I think that, that works. And then in the component, let's go ahead and add it. There we go. And now we're gonna to have to add all the different components. So we're gonna to have to associate the AR camera, the human body manager, and also the rendering, the line render prefab that we just created, which we can go into prefabs to get it. And let's go ahead and drag it and drop it. And, and that should honestly give us everything that we need in order to render a skeleton. So let me go ahead and build this. So I'm gonna go into build settings, gonna add this open scene, gonna disable the one that we did previously. And I think I'm just thinking about making sure that we have everything. So if not, we'll we'll go back through and make sure that we we enable all the features that we need to enable. So if not, we can just build and run. So I'm just gonna click here and so this one is called face tracking. So this one is gonna be called body tracking. There we go. And I already have one created, but I'm going to just replace it. And yep, it already exists. I'm just gonna replace it. And it looks like I got a few errors. So let me see what's going on. And other architecture. Oh, I see why. I think that other project, I built it with something different. So let me go ahead and get rid of that project. I'm gonna go into my desktop and I'm going to delete it, delete that. There we go. Let me go ahead and try that one more time. Let's just, just do a build this time and then save. And there we go. So that was the issue. I think the other project I built with a different version of Unity and not only that, but I think it had other features that I'm not using anymore. So I think they should give us a clean slave and we should be able to test it in Xcode with my iPhone device. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this running and then I'll continue as soon as it's done. All right guys, so the application finished building and I put it in my iPhone device. I also did a recording because I wanted to show you how that looked like when I was on the video. So I'm just gonna hit play, this is a video. And you can see that as I move around the skeleton and, and what's a line render inside of Unity, it's getting updated. Every every single part of the skeleton is getting is getting changed. So some basically jogging and jumping. The you know it's impressive how accurate how accurate it is. So just gonna leave it plain and you can see, you know, as I do different different movements. So if I'm exercising, you can see how the, you know, the skeleton changes, rotating around also, and then there we go. So, so this is basically what I wanted to show you guys. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I also hope you had a good time by watching me jump around and move around as we were testing the body tracking technology. And I wanted to also tell you that if you could check out gamedev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers, the game developers that are starting out, or if you're an advanced game developer, they have a lot of information for you. Also find me in patreon.com where I'm posting information about what I'm doing in my studio, things that I'm doing behind the scenes. I'm also posting the URL of the source code that I'm, that I'm working on for every video. So make sure that you check me out there and your support is really you know appreciated. Thank you very much, guys.